Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> so you're done with your first draft. Maybe your first draft has been sitting for two months, or maybe you just finished it. I'm gonna help you out with how to edit your book in three easy steps. Let's get started. <laughs> To help you get into the mindset of editing your book, I've got a couple of mini steps to help you get started. To get in the mindset of editing, I would suggest that you look at it positively instead of with a negative eye. Yes, it's a lot of work. Editing will always be a lot of work. And for some, it's more work than, <laughs> than writing the darn book. <laughs> but look at editing as something that you are now mining and discovering new things and that will help you in your editing process if you finished your first draft then i would suggest letting it rest a lot of people suggest this but i definitely want to restate it letting your book rest for a while can definitely help whether it's a week or two you know you come back to it with brand new eyes and with a new perspective <laughs> so definitely let your novel rest for a while so if you have your first draft complete then i would suggest reading it all in one go <laughs> don't do anything to it don't edit it don't fix it don't fix typos just read it through all in one go this will give you an overall picture of what you need to do and what you need to change for your novel, especially if you have let it rest for a while. Things you can think about is, does it make sense? Am I missing any scenes? And you can really kind of think about what you need to do. And I would also suggest taking notes as you are reading it, just, on, just in a notebook on the side or a text document. But I would definitely just read it all in one go without touching it. <laughs> I know that's tough. I know that's tough, but <laughs> all right, let's get into the three simple editing steps, shall we? Step number one, comprehensive edit. This will probably be your most difficult step because you are fixing your plot and anything that might have gone wrong. Maybe you had an outline and then you <laughs> greatly strayed from that outline. So you have no idea where you're going with it. Something like that will happen in a comprehensive edit. You'll be adding new scenes and you'll be stripping away scenes as well. During this comprehensive edit, I think it will also be the most fun because you can add things to your work and you'll be able to discover new gems in your editing. I personally love editing. I know for a lot of people, editing is super hard and super difficult, but Editing during these stages is like mining for gold and diamonds because you have the raw material that is your first draft, but as you're editing with the comprehensive edits, you'll be able to discover brand new things about your characters, about your world, and about your story. It can be so exciting and so much fun, and I really love that process Ooh. of discovering new scenes, and it's just, it's just a wonderful process for me i know for some it, it's not in your comprehensive edit this is definitely where you would take out chunks as well if certain scenes are not working for you or there are a lot of meandering uh scenes and dialogue this is the perfect time to strip them down and make them more cohesive i would suggest looking at how you can improve the novel and you can improve the flow of the novel and you know bring it all together step number two line by line paragraph by paragraph edit for some this will probably be the most boring but it's probably some of the most important once you have your novel and the plot is good and you have all of the scenes that you want now it's time to go line by line paragraph by paragraph and making sure that you're saying all that you need to say and tighten your sentences and make them flow better. This is probably some of my favorite stuff because I get to tighten my work and I really enjoy it when I get into the mindset of it. It's it's something that I enjoy. I don't know why I enjoy editing so much. I don't know why. Can't they be cray cray? 
part of this process is how does your paragraphs and your lines look on the page? Personally, I think that white space in your novel is very important. So my book is not all like this, but I make important focus on these concepts and words. And this white space brings a different visual on the page. Now, you're not always gonna see this in Kindle format, but I do try to be aware of that as well. White space on your page is not something to be afraid of or to fill up completely. The book Aragon by Christopher Pellini has very little to no white space. <laughs> and paragraphs are just huge on the page. And that's something that I would advise against. I realize when your book has a ton of words and is huge, that logistically it's not great to make more paragraphs, but something to consider for the ease of the reader is to not make extremely long paragraphs, but to make shorter paragraphs because in Kindle format, if you have a semi-long paragraph on your in your print book, it'll turn out differently in Kindle and will look like a block of text on your phone. So something to consider during your line by line edits as you are tightening your sentences and trying to say things in the best and concise way, whether it's with a beautiful amount of prose or you just need to tighten it up. Think about the white space as well around your words. And finally, step number three proofread. This is probably the least favorite. Although this is probably the one that most people think that editing is. Editing is not proofreading. Editing is not looking for all of the typos. Proofreading is probably the easiest of <laughs> the steps to your novel. <laughs> Everything else is editing. Now proofreading is different for everybody. Personally, I can't see my typos very well because I have a small form of dyslexia. I will often leave out words. <laughs> if I reply in my comments and you see me leaving out words, it happens. <laughs> I personally use an add-on in Microsoft Word. It was already added into Microsoft Word and so that's how I've been proofreading all of my work when I post online. If you don't have Microsoft Word and don't have a built-in reader, I would suggest text aloud and to purchase a voice that will not grate on your ears because <laughs> you're gonna be listening to it for a long time, let me tell you. I will highly recommend Peter. <laughs> I miss Peter. Text aloud doesn't work on Max. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> So yeah, proofread your work, whether you use a reader to read it out loud to you, or you can trust yourself to catch all of your typos. I don't trust myself, so I use a reader every time and I read along with him so that I can catch the typos and catch anything. So it's not 100% foolproof, but if you are getting ready to self-publish your book, I would suggest listening to your book at least two to three times. Yeah, you're gonna be listening to your book a lot. <laughs> Don't hate it, it's in the end, please. <laughs> well, alrighty then, those were my three simple steps to editing your first draft. It's a long process, but a fulfilling one. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these three steps and if you have done them before and let me know where you are in your editing stage or in your drafting stage. Tell me about it and we can encourage each other to keep going on writing our books. <laughs> All right then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I make videos on Mondays and Fridays. Until next time, bye. <laughs>